Whenever you encounter a website for the first time and you're keen to run penetration testing on, there are so many different techniques that you could utilize. So why not just use the automated tool to run all of these hacking techniques very quickly against the site to see if it is susceptible to all this different kind of hacking methods. So once again, hacking is illegal. If you get caught, please do not tell them that you learn it from me. Just kidding. Only do hacking in your own lab environment. So let's get started. <laughs> So right in front of us, I have a vulnerable web application system running, and this is called Ghost. And this is a place for you to test out all these hacking techniques like cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, iframe injection, remote file inclusion, local file inclusion, and the list goes on. And it sounds really complicated, so many things to learn. And what we can do to speed up the whole learning process and that whole penetration testing process is to utilize a tool called Open Web Application Security Project Zap. And it is a highly automated tool that can help us speed up the whole process of identifying vulnerabilities which input form can we actually break into and so on and so forth so go to the top left corner of Kyle Linux so right here we're on Kyle Linux and we can see all this different hacking software and go right into number three which is web application analysis clicked on it and right here you can look at the following which is zap so go ahead and click on it right now so once you clicked on it it will begin running so you can see here OWSP 2.1 0.0 and you will have a pop-up do you want to persist the zap session all right so in my case in our case we are not going to persist the session so go ahead and click start so right here the really scary thing is that this is highly automated and it is very dangerous so again i want to highlight this is a second disclaimer hacking is illegal running any of these tools against any websites that you don't own could possibly crash the site and of course, based on your IP address, based on all the attributes that you have, as you run all these tools, you can get caught. All right, so very important to just run all this learning process against sites that you own or you have been given consent to run against. Else, you know, we will get into big trouble. So what you can see right here on the top right side is there is an automated scan. So this is the whole idea of speeding up the process of penetration testing. So go ahead and click on it. So once you clicked on it, you can go back to Firefox, copy the URL here, all right, so I'll go ahead and copy the URL and then I'll paste it right here on the URL to attack. So I'll paste it right here. And now what I'll do is I'll scroll down further and all you got to do is just click attack. As simple as that. And this is dangerous and scary because anyone who can run Kali Linux, who download and run this particular software called OWAP Zap can literally run it on your website. And that's it. All right, they will find all those vulnerabilities and you'll be able to utilize the payloads that they use right here to launch attack against your site. So go ahead and click attack in three, two, one, click attack. And now what it's doing, it is running what we call a spider. So it is to discover all the directories, all the files, all the scripts and everything inside the website so that once you have the list of all these different directories, then we will know exactly where are the input forms, where are the possible areas that we can run our payloads or injection on. And whether the payload is a SQL injection, a cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, is it a remote file inclusion, local file inclusion, doesn't matter. It will help us check for it. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. It is going to take some time to spider through this particular site as it is a pretty huge site. And at the same time, to run those payloads, it will take some time. All right, so go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee as we continue to let this run. Okay, so right here we have completed spidering, which means we have identified all of the assets and resources inside this website. So now what we are seeing is what we call an active scan. So this is the part where the payloads are literally injected into the website, either into the input forms, into the URL, and so on. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a number of columns. So you have the ID. So the ID on the left side indicates, all right, at which particular payload that we are at. So they will have a huge list of payloads they're injecting into the site. And then we have the request timestamp. All right, we have the response timestamp. How long is it taking for the response to come back from a server? We have the method that we're utilizing. So there's a get method. There are different kind of methods as post. There's delete and so on that you could be utilizing. There's URL right at the center, which is the URL that we're targeting. Then there is a code. Is it 200? Is it okay? Is it 403? Is the reason? The RTT, the response hater, and all these different details. And right here, as you can see, we've completed the active scan and we are on the alert page. So on the alert page, what you can do now is to go on the bottom left side of OWSP Zap. So right here, we can see cross-site scripting identified, path to vessel. All right, we have remote 
file inclusion, directory browsing, X-Frame options, header not set, and all of these details. And the best part about this is part of your learning, as part of your learning, is that you can go ahead and click onto any of them. You can expand it. So in this case, say for example, I open up cross-site scripting, DOM base. So I can go ahead and open it up. I can double click on it and it will show us right here. This is the URL and as you can see this JavaScript and they have on click alert and all these different details and it states the following risk high, meaning that this is an immediate concern. And if you're the website owner, you must quickly, very, very quickly remediate it, meaning by hardening the application, updating the application server, all right, or by even introducing a web application firewall in front of the website so that you can stop all these possible special characters from coming into the site. The second part, as you can see here, we have cross-site scripting reflected. All right, so as you can see here too, all right, we have script alert, and all you gotta do is just paste the payload, submit it into the site, and it will work out of the box. So fantastic automated tool to help us check whether the website is vulnerable. So I can go ahead and click on Path Traversal, and right here, as you can see, we have the following. All right, so we have the URL, okay, we have the risk, high, medium, and the attack, which is the payload. So in this case, ETC plus WD. All right. And it even gives us an explanation of this particular attack. The path traversal attack techniques allows an attacker access to files, directories, and commands that potentially reside outside the web document root directory. Okay. And as a solution to it, all right, only accepting known good input validation strategy. So I can go ahead and double click on it and it will have a pop-up and this pop-up will show us, all right, what is the payload that we're injecting into the site. And all you got to do right now is just copy, let's say this particular URL or the payload in this case, I can copy this. Okay, I can go ahead and copy it and I go back to Firefox and I can paste it right here. Okay, and hit enter on the following and this will show us right where exactly is this particular file. So in this case, we have the URL here that's been identified by WhatsApp. So I can go ghost iframe.php, right? Ghost iframe.php and then I can enter the following, which is question mark page equal question mark page equal and hit enter on this and let's see what we will get based on the payload that you're seeing right here. So let's go ahead and enter on that. Hit enter on this. Okay. And you can see right here, this admin road, guest road. And right at the bottom, this is the part where we have access literally to all the user accounts inside the system. Once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. And thank you once again for hacking with me.